Welcome back to Mindful Mastery, your go-to channel for understanding the mind games in everyday life and how to handle them like a pro. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join us on a journey to a more empowered you. Today, we're diving deep into a sneaky manipulation tactic called guilt tripping and most importantly, how you can shield yourself from its effects. What is guilt tripping? Guilt tripping is an emotional manipulation tactic that uses guilt to control another person's behavior. It's like someone handing you a one-way ticket to feel bad city. How does it work? It can be as blatant as someone saying, after all I've done for you, you're doing this to me? Or as subtle as a disappointed sigh that screams, I'm not mad, just disappointed. Recognizing guilt trips. So, how do you spot this tactic? Look out for passive-aggressive comments, reminders of past favors, or someone playing the victim to make you feel you owe them. Protecting yourself. Now, let's armor up. Protecting yourself starts with recognizing the trip for what it is. Reframe the situation logically not emotionally. Ask yourself, is this guilt mine to carry? Assertive communication. Use I statements to express how you feel without taking on undue blame. For example, I understand you're upset, but I feel this is unfair to me. Setting boundaries. Set clear boundaries. It's okay to say no and mean it. You're not responsible for someone else's happiness. And if the guilt trip is too much, seek support from friends, family, or a professional. You don't have to navigate this alone. Conclusion. Remember, your emotions are your own. Don't let anyone pack your bags with guilt you don't deserve. Stay mindful, stay strong, and keep watching Mindful Mastery for more insights on mastering your mental well-being. Like this video? Give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who might need it, and don't forget to subscribe for more empowering content. See you in the next one.